Dear beard learners, you must be planning for your workshop too if you are in our second year. In all the beard practical activities, workshop two is one of the important activities. And in this session, I am going to discuss about essential components of workshop two. As you know that in beard we have two workshops. Workshop 1 which you have completed in your first year that was of 4 credit and of 12 days. Similarly in B.E.A.T. second year also there is a workshop of 4 credit and 12 days duration. In this workshop as I have told you that workshop 2 is a 12 days face to face component which will be organized at your program study center like workshop 1. The question is that when the workshop can be organized. The workshop cannot be organized during the term and examination of IGNU that is neither in June nor in December. Generally the program in charge of your study center finalize the dates of your workshop keeping in mind the availability of resources, faculty, space and your vacation schedule. Workshops are generally organized either during the summer breaks or any other long spell of vacation in between because you need 12 days presence continuously at your study center. The second year workshop will be conducted only after the completion of the internship too and before the second year term and examination. So after first year term and examination you can start your internship and once you complete your internship and inform to your study center only then your study center will plan about your workshop. Dear learners please remember that workshops are mandatory for all and attendance for all 12 days during the workshop is mandatory. As I have told you you will be allowed to attend the workshop too only after the completion of internship 1, workshop 1 and internship 2 means all practical activities except workshop 2 if you have completed only then you are eligible to take part in workshop 2. Generally we suggest a gap of one academic session between the two workshops. So if you have not done your first year workshop when it was scheduled at your study center. So first you do your first year workshop then you go for internship and after completing the internship of your second year you are eligible to appear in the workshop so you cannot attend both the workshops simultaneously. Whatever workshop is whether it is workshop 1 or workshop 2 you have to attend your workshop at your allotted program study center only. This is the workshop schedule for B.E.A.T. second year. You can see that most of the sessions have been taken from the study material of B.E.A.T. second year. We have identified the topics which require hands-on or which require more discussion for deeper learning. Those topics have been placed in workshop 2 schedule. You can see in this slide also that on day 5, 6 and 7 there are sessions for BESE 131, BESE 132 and BESE 135. These are your optional courses. You must have opted any one of these three courses. So in your workshop handbook there are activities for all three courses. You have to opt or you have to appear in the sessions related to your optional course. These sessions will be conducted in three different rooms parallelly. That's why you can see that the total number of sessions are 888 eight, eight in these three days. On day 10 and day 11 we have identified certain topics from your EPC courses. So those activities are there which you will undertake. Dear learners, in the workshop each session is of 90 minutes and in the beginning of each day 15 minutes have been allotted to a brief report of the previous day activities. So any one of you may be asked by your program in charge to prepare and present the report of the previous day activities by rotation. By rotation we mean that one day one learner can present and another day some 
other person can present the report. In this workshop, the sessions which are for optional courses on day 5, 6 and 7, they will run as three parallel sessions that is in three different rooms. All the sessions are either activity based or reflective in nature. So you are expected to perform either the group activity or an individual activity. During the workshop, if you go through our workshop handbook for B.Ed. second year, you will find that each session has three stages, pre-workshop activity, during workshop activity and post-workshop activity. In pre-workshop activity, we have explained what is expected from you as the preparation for that particular session. So you may find that in some sessions, you have been asked to come with some material. In some sessions, you may have instructed to read a particular unit or a particular section of a course or a government document, which is of relevance in that particular session. And then during workshop activity, the resource person will take the session. They will organize the activity as per the handbook. They will assess your performance in group or individual activity. And in post workshop activity, how the outcome of this session are beneficial for you as a teacher and how will you use those benefits in your class, those have been discussed. Assessment during the workshop is of three types. First is the assessment of reports of the activities which you have completed during your internship too. Then the assessment of EPC activities, there are two EPC courses, EPC 3 and EPC 4 in B.Ed. second year. Then assessment of your performance during the workshop too. Let us see how internship reports are being assessed. You are expected to bring the reports of all the activities which you have completed during the internship to your lesson plans, your unit plans, your assessment uh, tools, your community service campaign report, your PTM report, your co-curricular activity organization report, all the reports of the activities which you have completed during the internship too. All the reports will be authenticated by the mentors at your school and verified by the principal of your internship school where you have conducted your internship. In the sessions which are allotted for assessment, you will be asked to present your reports. Your peers may give the feedback on your activities and presentations and your resource person will grade your internship activities and submit your grades to the workshop in charge of your program study center with your reports. Then the EPC activities. Report of the EPC activities which you have completed during the internship too, you will bring all those reports during the workshop. You must have completed four activities, two in EPC 3 and two in EPC 4 during your internship too. Then four activities you will complete during the workshop on day 10 and day 11. Those activities are two for EPC 3 and 2 for EPC 4. Then in the allotted sessions for EPC assessment, you will be asked to present your reports and your peer may give the feedback on your activities and presentations. Then your resource person will grade your EPC activities and submit your grades to the workshop in charge at your program study center with your reports. The third is the assessment of workshop activities. The grades on various reports which you will submit or present during the workshop sessions will be provided by the workshop facilitator or resource person during the workshop only. The grades on the group activities may be same for all participants of all the groups. Cumulative grade of each participant will be calculated by your workshop in charge and it will be submitted to regional center. Regional center and SOE have all rights to moderate the grades awarded if they found any discrepancy or it is required. So learners, I hope that this small presentation will help you in participating in workshop two effectively. If still you have any doubt, you can contact us at soe at the rate ignou.ac.in. Be a great teacher. Keep learning. Thank you.